Well now, it uh, appears that we're going to be talking about a pretty controversial topic now. You always see people talking about characters that they want in Smash, or characters that they think are likely. It's not what we're talking about here, we're talking about the exact opposite. Characters who I do not want in. Now, I just want to say this is all my opinion. You can disagree with me. Uh, if these do happen to be characters that you like, don't get angry, because it's just my dumb, my dumbass opinion. Uh, if you want, you could even go in the comments and don't, don't bite my head off in the comments. Don't just say you're a fucking idiot. Instead, just explain to me why you think that this character deserves to be in Smash. So, let's dive in with one that, uh, was pretty big in Smash 4's time, a little bit now. And I bet is probably going to get a lot of people mad. Impa. Now, for Impa... I just don't understand why she's such a popular choice. Uh, maybe if I were to play Hyrule Warriors, then maybe. Because I played Kirby Star Allies, and then after that I thought, man, you know who'd be really cool? Rick, Kuhn, and Kai in Smash Bros. And then, you know, I also played as some of the other characters, I'm like, wait, why don't they just make a Kirby fighting game? I mean, Smash Bros. pretty much is already that, but... They come on, they gave everyone Smash Bros. move sets. It's really cool, by the way. So maybe if I were to play it, I'd understand, but right now I'm not a Zelda guy. Uh, it's just not. I don't understand why she's that popular, especially since this is a non canon appearance. So I don't even think it's that likely, and I just. It would just be another sword user, it'd be kind of like Cloud, where it's a big sword or she can also use a spear but I don't think she would use that I don't think she would even be like this non-canon appearance because like I said before this is just a spin-off game and now for another Zelda character and uh, this one's been talked about a lot recently Skull Kid I, I don't even know what Skull Kid is uh, I know it's Majora's Mask that's on it uh, but, I mean, I think Majora, like, the actual Majora's Mask would be a better character, like, fighting the final boss of Majora's Mask, or fighting as the final boss. The thing is, I don't get Skull Kid. I mean, maybe that would be better. I don't know, I haven't played Majora's Mask. Like I said, I'm not a Zelda guy. Never really liked it. But I just don't understand why Skull Kid is so popular. I don't even think he even really, really is that popular. I mean, there was that one rumor that uh, Relax Lax thought of, but uh, I mean, other than that, I can't really think of a time when Skull Kid was really such a highly requested character. Uh, and I just don't see why he would be. Oh boy, now it's time for a Kirby character. You know how I talked about how I wanted all these cool characters from Kirby Star Allies, well, uh, yeah, there's one that kind of had a Smash Bros. style moveset before this game, and people have been wanting this character, yeah, that, that, that's Bandana Waddle Dee, and, uh, I, I don't care about Bandana Waddle Dee, to be honest. Now, for me, I just don't understand why, it's just a generic enemy, uh, just with a spear. That would be like having the Goomba in a shoe from Super Mario Bros. 3 as a playable character. And yes, I keep using that analogy, but I, I mean, come on, they're pretty much the exact same. Or at least that's just how it is to me. I don't understand why Bandana Waddle Dee is that popular. Uh, I mean, if it does seem like Bandana Waddle Dee might be in. I, I am having some very weird speech. Sorry, this is not scripted. It does seem like Bandana Waddle Dee will be in, or has a high chance of being in, but I mean, I just don't care about Bandana Dee. If he is in, then okay, good for him. I mean, I won't be that excited, but whatever. Now we're diving into some Pokemon characters, and I'm only going to be talking about Pokemon characters that people have been talking about, whether they came up from uh, lots of requests or from leaks. 
so we're starting not even with Gen 7 Pokemon. We're starting with a Gen 3 Pokemon, and that's Gardevoir. Apparently there was some leak saying that uh, one of the demos was data mined or something, and they found the data for Richter and uh, some other characters like uh, Sir Knight, which is Gardevoir's Japanese name, and Gothitelle right after, which is which would have been an Echo or something. Uh, and oh, I'm gonna get to Gothitelle in a little bit, and uh, something called Super Mario Bros. 2. Not Super Mario Bros. 2, I think it was just Mario 2. Uh, I think the leak was fake. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that was confirmed fake. I don't remember. So, why Gardevoir? It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I mean, you've got so many other cool Pokemon from Gen 3 you could choose. Why waste your time with Gardevoir? I mean, yeah, Gardevoir was in Pokemon Tournament, but you know what? That, that's just really forgettable to me. They also had Chandelier, Braxton, fucking Krogunk. Also, I think that in my Pokemon tournament, I don't think I've played as Gardevoir once. That's sad. Yeah, and uh, we, we're kind of on Gen 7, so getting a Gen 3 rep just doesn't seem that likely. And now on to Gothitelle. This would just be stupid. Why why represent Gen 5 with an Echo Fighter of a, of a Pokemon that would have been from Gen 3? And why this Pokemon? Why Gothitelle? No one cares about Gothitelle. There are so many other Pokemon that could have been chosen from Gen 5. Like, oh, I don't know, Zoroark? He was very popular. He was pretty much the Decidueye of uh, Smash 4's time. Uh, Genesect, he was also kind of speculated a bit. Uh, Hydreigon, or Hydreigon, I don't know how you pronounce his name, something like that. Uh, fucking Excadrill, that would be badass. And, uh, you guys go with Gothitelle in this leak. What the fuck is wrong with you? Now on to the Gen 7 Pokemon. And this is going to get a lot of attention. I do not want Decidueye in the game. Yes, I have been... I have said that I wanted Decidueye before. There is video evidence of me saying that I want Decidueye in the game, or I have wanted him. Uh, but check the date. That was back in 2017. It's 2018 now, so my opinion changed. And that came after everyone was saying Decidueye. Literally everyone jumped on this bandwagon. At least with uh, Smash 4, you had some people like, okay, Zorark, he's got a huge following right now with all these people saying he's likely, but it could also be a Gen 6 Pokemon. Uh, or maybe some other Pokemon from Gen 5. Like, there were still uh, different ideas going around. But here... Everyone just went to Decidueye. No one was thinking about any of the other Pokemon. Yes, there were some, but it was so minuscule. Everyone just said Decidueye, 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 Decidueye. It was so annoying. They wanted this Pokemon with garbage stats to be in Smash. And you know what? I feel like all these people just ruined it for me. Because at first I was like, man, Decidueye, he has so much potential. He'd be a great pick. Now I'm just like, fuck Decidueye. I want something unique now. And let me tell you, this next Pokemon, I want even less than Decidueye. And I think is even less unique. Incineroar. Oh my god, you guys just really want to piss me off right now. First you go and talk about Decidue. I'm like, okay, well, at least it's not as bad as Incineroar. That would be an awful choice since we already have Charizard. Why represent Gen 7 with another firefighting starter? Firefighting, no. With another fully evolved fire type starter. And then suddenly all the hype for Decidue dies out. And then we hear that everyone is saying Incineroar. Like you see it everywhere. All these people are saying Incineroar. Oh my god, that would be the worst idea ever. Why? Just so he could be a grappler? Which we could have a grappler. Why would you make Incineroar just 
to have a grappler. I mean, I already talked about Travis Touchdown. He would be a much better grappler. But why Incineroar? And then he also fights using fire abilities. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of other fighters that do that. He's not unique. I want someone unique. And representing Gen 7 with Incineroar, someone who wouldn't even stand out, just doesn't seem right to me. When you have all this, all these other potential candidates, and you guys go right to these two. I just... Why? Why? And now... On to another one that some people agree with. It just, just you know, it just fuck, fuck it. <sighs> right? We don't need any more Fire Emblem characters. Look, we have Marth. We have the other Marth, the the female Marth, the newest Marth. Okay, more than half of these are Marth. Okay, you got uh, who else? The Dragon Guy. Good for him. Uh, you got uh, this Mage. Okay. Then you got uh, the burly swordsman guy who, oh god, he wields that with, he, that's a two-handed sword and he's wielding, it, he's wielding it with one hand. Okay, that's actually pretty impressive. That I think that I could still pretty cool. Now on to another character that I don't want. Uh, this one people are thinking could be an echo fighter of a character, but I'm like... No, that's just a waste of potential. Glass Joe. I don't want a Punch-Out Echo Fighter. Could it happen? Yes. But would it be a waste? Fuck yeah. We have so many unique boxers with their own unique abilities and fighting styles that just copy and pasting Little Mac just wouldn't seem right to me. And choosing Glass Joe to be that character? Like, what, you guys like Joe characters? I mean, sometimes it's funny, cool. But then you look at Melee, we got Pichu. That was an awful joke character. And then you want this awful joke character? Get the fuck out. I'm sorry. Here's one that kind of annoys me, and it's Miss Pac Man. Uh, honestly, I don't care. I mean, we got Pac Man. That's cool. Uh, Miss Pac Man is a pretty big Pac Man character, but I don't think she'll be an Echo Fighter because. Look at how restricted Pac-Man was. I mean, maybe it doesn't seem like that on the surface, but then uh, you click X or Y on your controller when you select him and you see, oh, oh, that that's what he means, okay. Having Miss Pac-Man would just pretty much be the same way, just more confusing with all these Pac-Mans and then Pac-Women that all just look the same. I just know. We're good with just Pac-Man and his confusing... Fuck. Yeah. We're good with Pac-Man and his... Fuck. We're good with Pac-Man and his confusing palette swaps. And next is yet another Echo Fighter idea. I just don't want the Octolings as Inkling Echo Fighters. I said before that this might not happen because there is an Inkling with Octoling gear. Uh, as one of the Inkling... Uh, palette swaps, but the Octolings, they rose in popularity, well I guess they were still popular around Splatoon 1's time, and uh, yeah they got more popular with the Octo expansion in Splatoon 2, but the Inklings are in, and so far they're the most unique newcomers out of all the ones that we've gotten so far, uh, and just copy and pasting would just kind of take away from what makes him special. So yeah, I just don't want the Octolings. Sorry. Okay, now just for uh, some quick rapid fire miscellaneous names. Uh, Minecraft Steve, I don't like Minecraft, that would you just be stupid. Uh, get out of here. Uh, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. No, because he's in a game with Disney characters. I don't like Disney. Shantae, I just don't think she'll be the indie rep. I don't think th that she's that important. Even though she's been on Nintendo consoles for a long time, 
and her games have been selling pretty well. I just don't think she deserves the spot in Smash Bros. But I do think that Travis Touchdown does, so, uh, <laughs> like I said, my ideas are pretty weird. Now, this is the character that I want even less than Decidueye and even less than Incineroar. In fact, less than them combined. I would fucking... I don't even know what I'd do. But, okay, I wouldn't actually do this, but this is just for a joke. I would fucking kill myself if Labo Man was announced as a character. Fuck Nintendo Labo. That's stupid. Why are they selling cardboard? Makes no fucking sense. And then, if they were to try and promote that in Smash Bros. with this guy? No. Fuck no. If this is a DLC character, I am not going to buy him. Okay, I probably will, but I, I will regret... Regret. I will regret my purchase. Because Labo Man? No. That, that's just such a stupid idea. That is going to do it for this... Oh, wait. Uh, one more character. So, this next character... I just really don't want this character. I don't understand why this character is popular or why it's why they're requested. I don't think they're even that highly requested, but you know, if this character is announced for the game, I will just end the video here. That character is Isabel from Animal Crossing. <laughs>